Hello, today we're going to take a look at some of the different file types that can be imported into GrabCAD Print and how to best utilize some of the basic GrabCAD features to enhance these models. So first off we can go to Add Model and we're going to add a uh, simple file. This is a model, it's a box and a sphere um, in CAD or they've been modeled as two separate bodies and they are actually two separate shells so if I, uh, however, because they've been imported into GrabCAD as a single STL any material assignments that I make to them will be applied uh, to both shells individually there's no way to make different material assignments to each of these bodies <coughs> if we go into Magix where I created these two uh, bodies uh, we can see they are merged as a single uh, shell, single uh, sorry, a single part. However, they are comprised of two shells. So you can see we've got one shell here and another shell there. So um, this is something that, when I export as an STL, is read with a, uh, or I can assign a single material to that. However, as a VRML, I can um, alter each shell individually. So, moving back, um, the next uh, thing we want to do is we're going to import this model, but as two separate shells. And then I'll be able to control those material assignments. So here we go to File, Add STL as Assembly, and I can select my two models and go Open. And this will bring in these two separate shells here. We can see we've got the uh, model tree here, assembly, and underneath I've got my two separate elements, box and sphere. So now I can make separate material assignments to uh, each of these. So I can go to my box and I could assign a clear material to the box. And now we will have this uh, uh, box being transparent uh, with the sphere being visible inside. <coughs> now, the next thing I'm going to show you is uh, importing a uh, texture file, a VRML model, um, and uh, I'll import a couple of these at the same time, and we can take a look at, uh, at some of the differences there. And here we have a uh, wood textured box and we have a box with a uh, sphere inside so the texture both of these are or texture files here we've got the wood grain texture file and here we have a color texture on top of a transparent texture now first off um, we can override these textures we can make different material assignments. Let's say here I did not want this texture. I can go to my uh, model settings. I could pick a color and I could uh, change that color to a different uh, color altogether. Now, if say I wasn't happy with my material selection, I wanted to go back to what I had, simply right click on the part and we go to restore appearance. And there we have uh, the uh, original file as it was created. Now here another feature that I'd like to talk about is um, one part priority and two is assembly disassembly. Uh, sometimes with very complex assemblies it can be difficult to assign the materials to the correct parts. So one of my favorite features within GrabCAD is this assembled disassembled drop down. This now separates my parts and I could make alternative material assignments to uh, each part. So here for example I could select a color, I could add uh, transparency to that part and then I can hit assembled, reassembled and now I can see my part back inside my model. Now for parts like this where I have um, the bounding box of each of these parts is going to be exactly the same. The sides of the sphere are touching the external walls of the box. So 
I have uh, the ability to control the part priority. What may happen is, is that GrabCAD may not know which body to uh, uh, to print as default. So because these are bodies that I haven't created, say, a Boolean cut inside, um, it is a whole cube without a hollow space inside for the sphere. GrabCAD has what is known as a smart Boolean feature, where when I have an object that is inside of another object, if the object that is inside is smaller than the uh, external object, then it will receive priority. So this means that I don't have to carry out a Boolean cut uh, in CAD. I don't have to leave a hollow or a void inside my part to accommodate the new part. GrabCAD will automatically uh, make those material assignments. However, in a case like this, where I have uh, the bounding box of both these parts is going to be exactly the same, it would be I can right-click on the parts or the part that are inside this cube and I can go part priority. And I can say I want this to have priority one and then uh, the uh, software will ensure that the material and color designations that I've made for those parts inside uh, will stay regardless of me having carried out or not carried out a Boolean uh, operation in CAD. So let's take a look at what we've covered here. We've got our uh, importing an STL and making a material assignments. I've got importing an STL assembly and also making material assignments. We've got importing VRML files um, and overriding those material assignments. We have importing uh, a VRML, uh, effectively an assembly of VRMLs that's in in incorporated into a single file and being able to uh, set part priority and override the assignments. So some very simple but very powerful uh, tools within GrabCAD print. That's all for now.